Hey guys, it's extremely important to be prepared for an emergency on the road. As an RVer, you're exposing yourself to new environments, new weather, and increasing your risk for different types of accidents on the road. We'll be the first to tell you that <laughs> this lifestyle is not all sunshine and rainbows. So that's why today we are opening up our emergency kit to show you what's inside. Admittedly, we weren't too quick to build this emergency kit out. Unfortunately, we had to go through a couple of scary situations over the last few years to finally get on top of it and build out a kit that we felt comfortable with. We don't want you living that same experience. We would much rather have our viewers hit the road being prepared. So that is why we're opening up our kit for you today to show you what's inside and get you prepared for any emergencies or disasters that may strike. So, you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> so the first item is actually emergency vests. We got these from Grand Design when we went on the factory tour, but we knew they'd be a perfect addition to our emergency kit. So we threw them in here knowing that if we do have an emergency on the road or maybe where we're in a different type of situation where we want to be seen, having these on hand is a very good idea. And you don't have to do a factory tour to get yours. You could just buy yours. <laughs> Next up is this fire extinguisher. This is actually the model that came with our RV. It's a BC model. We upsized the one in the RV and moved this uh, to the emergency kit because it's always good to have a fire extinguisher on hand. Yes. And then the next item is very simple, but it is flashlights. So we were sure to throw two extra flashlights in here. We might even have more at the bottom, I'm not positive. <laughs> and these are battery powered versus rechargeable. Yes, we actually opted for battery powered because at the bottom here, we do have extra batteries. So we didn't want to put rechargeable ones in here and then have them sit in here for maybe a year, year and a half, two years. And then when we actually need them, have them not be at full charge or be dead. So that's why we opted for battery. So a little trick of the trade for you there. Next stop is a simple addition and a cheap one. It's actually an emergency whistle. We really like these because uh, they can be heard up to a mile away uh, because they're 120 decibels loud. So uh, cheap, easy addition, just in case you need to be found. Next on the list, pretty simple, but we had some extra ones lying around, so we threw them in here. Ponchos. You never really know what kind of situation you are going to get caught up in with weather or where you're going to be. So even if it's a beautiful day and some storm rolled in and all you have is your emergency kit, at least you'll have some ponchos on you. And sticking to the coverage topic, we actually have some Mylar emergency blankets. The blankets actually retain 90% of your body heat and we bought an extra large pack of 10, so we have extra and they're super cheap. Next on your list should be a very good first aid kit. We like this one, it's called My Medic, and we like it for a couple different reasons. First, it has a ton of different items in here that can range from helping you with a scratch to helping you with a burn. So it has everything in between. It also has Velcro back here. So you can Velcro it to maybe something else if you're building out your emergency kit a different way. It has all these different straps and it also has a clasp here. So we have heard of people taking this specific kit with them when they are hiking overnight or doing a couple days out camping trip in the middle of nowhere. So this is a very good first aid kit and has multiple uses. All right, next up is something that's super important uh, that a lot of people forget about, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a extra portable battery for your cell phones. So it has US, two USB ports here and is a fully charged external battery. The reason I like this model is because it also uh, allows you to plug it in and pass through the power. So if you're somewhere where you can actually plug in your phone, you can plug it in and 
uh, have that functionality and you don't also have to carry around those little power blocks with you. Uh, and then with that, we actually made sure we brought some extra phone charging cords too. Cause that's something that we would definitely would have forgotten. We would have this, but wouldn't be able to actually charge our phones with it. So uh, don't forget these. And the next item is simple, but important. These are actually sweaters. So we have one sweater each. And to be perfectly honest, I don't even think that's enough. We recently cleaned out our closet and so we set aside extra jeans and extra shirts. I just need to make room in here. So we're recommending that you actually have a whole set of extra clothes because even if you have your RV with you, there are still multiple emergency scenarios where you could be separated from your RV. So if you still have your kit on you, at least you have a change of clothes. So. We're not at 100% standard here to what we're recommending, but we will be. So make sure to add in a whole new set of clothes. And speaking of having an extra set of stuff, we recommend having a bag of toiletries. You can easily just go to Target. They're 99 cents per item. Throw them in a bag so that way you can have extra shampoo, conditioner, soap, you know, I actually put Febreze in here because I thought, what if we're in a situation where we don't have things for a couple of days, we might be getting a little stinky. So we have deodorant, we have Febreze, and for vanity purposes, we also have hairspray. So make sure to just stock up on the toiletries that you like to have on hand as well. Another important thing to have is actually light. So you don't want to waste your batteries, which we talked about earlier and use your flashlights. Uh, so we have a 120 hour emergency candle, which is great. And to light the candle, we have some waterproof matches. Uh, but if we need just quick emergency light, we actually got these safety light sticks that are just able to be snapped and uh, will glow for up to 12 hours. So throw these in your kit as well. Now the next item is water. We thought about storing actual water on hand, but we had two problems with that. One, it takes up a lot of space, and two, it's heavy. So we opted to throw in life straws in our emergency kit, and these are great because you can literally put one end in any body of water, and you drink out of the other end here, and it purifies it for you. And as a backup, just in case we did buy water purifiers purification tablets so if we did need to collect water and purify it we're covered on this end as well and the next item is a multi-tool and silverware so obviously both of those items very important I don't think they need much more explaining than that <laughs> yeah. when do you not need a spoon exactly. you know? um, and the final thing actually lines the entire bottom here we have three days worth of emergency rations for each of us. Uh, we got these ones because we didn't want to have to switch out soups or anything like that. And I actually saw these and they reminded me we used to have to make earthquake emergency kits uh, in school because we grew up in California and this was included in it. So uh, we got three days for us. E each of these is a three day ration. So we got two of those and not to be forgotten, we got three days worth of canned emergency food for Carmen, uh, and that is the, the bottom of our bucket here. And lastly, we do have a set of road flares in the truck as well. We really like these because they're battery powered and they have nine different settings of the light flashing that it can do, including SOS. So we think that that is pretty useful to have on hand. We recommend but recently broke ours, toe straps. So we will be ordering new toe straps from Amazon. Obviously, we've had to use ours. They've come in handy. If you haven't seen that video, we did help a woman tow her truck out of a ditch. So I will link that up here if you're curious to watch that. But that scenario did end up breaking our toe straps. So we have stronger toe straps on the way from Amazon. We also recommend carrying around a copy of your important 
documents like passport, driver's license, insurance, all of that. Uh, we recently just digitized them, so we carry them with us on our phones, already downloaded, so we have at least two copies. And I feel like we do still have another copy in the truck that we haven't taken out yet. <laughs> uh, make sure to include your vet records if you have a pet like we do, mm -hmm. uh, so that way you always have those vet records on hand. If you are more of a hard copy person, then we do want to advise to probably put those in a fireproof bag that you could still put in here. We do have all of our important documents, as Jason said, copied, but the hard copies are in a fireproof safe. So we do feel comfortable with that as well. And lastly, as far as what you want in your kit, I wanted to mention any medications. Now we had a fellow RVer tell us about this item and we thought it was extremely important, so we wanted to mention it. His rig actually caught fire, so his emergency kit that was in his truck didn't have his medication, he didn't think about it. And he was on heart medication and they were in a different state, so to try and get a prescription for his specific medication when you are dealing with a total loss of your RV is very difficult, he said. So we wanted to throw that out there. If you have any medication that you cannot be without, and this includes your pet too, make sure to put some extra medication in your emergency kit as well. Obviously, you know the best location for your emergency kit, but we choose to put ours in the cab of our truck. We always have the truck with us if we're out and about, and if we get into any emergencies while we're exploring, we will have our emergency kit with us, which really gives us a little bit of peace of mind. Also, if we're here at the RV and we have an emergency, our truck will be with us 99.9% .9 of the time. So <laughs> we're glad to have it there. Yes, we also like it in the truck because if we are with the RV and we're trying to gather up a few other items, it's one less thing to think about knowing our emergency kit is already in the truck, ready to go, and one less thing for us to carry to the truck just in case. Now, I know this isn't the most pleasant topic to talk about or scenario to imagine yourself in but trust us when we say you will be very glad you built this out if you do ever encounter any type of emergency or disaster I do have a blog post that I'll link in the description as well that has all of these products and more I'm kind of always switching stuff out and tweaking so if you have any suggestions as well or any emergency products you love leave those in the comments I would love to check them out Get yourself a new sweater like one of these so that you can put your old sweater in your emergency kit at store.getawaycouple.com. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Hey guys, being prepared for emer- Hey guys. <laughs> the first line. New weather and more types of acts. We'll be the first to tell you Sorry. Bacteriologically. Mm. <laughs> Say that five times fast. So you would have a very hard time. Yeah. It's well. It's also. It's like those yeah. protein bars. It's like a super protein bar. Yeah. So it tastes disgusting. Yeah. yeah. There's Toss actually really here. thin fireproof. Mm -hmm. now. Like yeah, yeah, the bags. Like yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs>